Well, hey everybody, welcome back to Palm Tree Life. I'm Tim, and uh, we are back in, uh, currently, the Duchy of Castile, hoping to form the Kingdom of Toledo. Maybe in this episode, we'll have to see how that works out. Uh, we did not have such a good uh, run in our last episode, <clears throat> and Deleuze uh, kicked our butt in a war, and actually, if we went back after them, which we could attack them right now, we could go after our claims, we could go after a struggle class, clash, we are really close as far as the amount of levies and troops, but we have this coming. So here, King Charles, he's 73, his health is poor, he is ailing, and we have his grandson, let me see here, right here, his grandson should be, is betrothed to our daughter. And so he should be moving up fairly quickly as far as getting more levies. And I'm hoping that out that alliance will benefit us. So I'm kind of waiting for him to die. And actually, if we wanted to... Oops, wrong, wrong level here. If we wanted to try to do a murder scheme here, it's okay. If we wanted to try... Because he's really good at scheming, that's why. He's a drunkard. He's probably not going to live a super long time. But uh, being 33, if we could take him out of the way, he actually could fall as the next heir, unless he's got kids. He's He got a, has a daughter. But I don't think West Francia can be claimed by... Yeah. It's, it's male. Male only. So, I uh, can't get there. So, we could try to attack over here. They have a little bit less, and they are already at war down here, so that would give a little bit more. What can we do here? They don't have as many troops. It would give us one more domain title, one more province to add some levies from. So we might have to do that. Um, we are waiting for this culture to switch over. Toledo almost is our faith. It is not our culture currently. That'll be the next place that I switch the culture over so that when we switch over, we have culture and faith uh, the same there. Can I do anything here? I cannot. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, we want, we want the uh, control to continue to go up because that would give us more levies as well. We don't have all of our levies currently. Yeah. And courtiers. Can we get any more? Yes. Okay. We need to get some more knights. What's this guy? Prowess of 33? Yes, please. Is there anybody else like that? So he's young. Does he have a word yet? He does not. Or, uh, yeah, an educator, guardian, whatever. So his marshal, he's marshal or intrigue. Let's get him. We're going to go marshal with him. Educate him with marshal. Ooh. We'll go with Gamila. Is she married? She's not married. So we'll educate there, and let's get her married off. That's his prowess. 26. He's scarred. He's scaly. So he's 27. What would it look like there? Medium chance. He's only 16. I would actually rather have him. Still medium chance, but... He's prowess of 26, so way better. Um, he's in jail. Ransom for 10. He's a 15. That's that's a pretty big deal. She's good. My daughter, courtier. Does she have an educator? She does not. 
She is marshal or stewardship. Let's go stewardship with her. Yeah. Educate. Go with her. And then my son and knight. Oh, we need to take my son out of being a knight. Let's do that. Oh, yeah. Okay, I did that. Is he my other son? No. So why is he a knight if I... That's weird. I forbid him from doing it, but... Whatever. So that'll give me some much better knights. Let's add in some footmen as soon as I can. Get out of here. Interpreting my recent friendliness as a sign, Herman and Gildo, whew, that's a mouthful, Herman and Gildo, has come to me with concern of one of my prisoners. It would please me greatly if you were to release my acquaintance, Milad, from his house rest. He says turning things over in his mind. So a cheap way of winning his good graces. He's a guest. He's a really good steward. How much is it? To, how much is it to bring him into my court? 95. I wonder what it would be if I did if I just did this. I gained 20 stress. We'll do that. I want to see if I can befriend him. I can't. I'm already scheming against him. Okay. What am I doing? I'm trying to befriend him already. Okay. Because I, I do want him in my court. Because it would be awesome to have 18 steward right there. Some months ago, Mary Hubab began clearing land in the forest of Tal Talavera to prepare for settlement. Trees are uprooted, paths are cut, and ground is swaled. Hubab has now written Steward Jair to request that his levy duties be reduced. Be anxious to complete the works before next harvest. He hopes to instead recruit soldiers for labor. Um, my mare. So read the county of Toledo reduces 50% levy size. Ugh. So that's only 25%. I actually want more levies. That is what I want. So he was doing it there. All right, we can get our men at arms. They're done fighting. Nope, no, they're still fighting. his prowess. Good. He's 74 and ailing. Still going at it, though. He's betrothed to a 13-year-old. That must be nice. Difference is 61 years. Ugh. I don't know about that, King Charles. I don't know about that. We got quilted armor. What does that do for us? We can recruit, recruit armored footmen. Nothing else, really. To my surprise, my acquaintance Munasir has come to me and promised me what, that whatever I need, whatever he can do, he will provide if I ask. I get a weak hook on him. Where is he? Interesting. What can I get from him?
I can demand a payment. I can get his title. Is Ooh, he has. So he has. Ooh, they did they break up? No. So he has, but he has a title to that. Right there. He has a claim to it. So if I can get that claim, it actually would give me the whole deal. Oh, it would only give me that. So how do I buy? I haven't done the buy claim a whole lot, so I would spend 250 piety and I get an unpressed claim. But that unpressed claim wouldn't actually give it to me. I would still have to attack him. I could arrange a marriage. Guardianship or ward. I probably could befriend him. I could demand that he pays me 50. I'll demand that. Why not? That gives me another ability to get another men at arms. Which, what do we want? We've got light horsemen and bowmen. So skirmishers counter that. And archers counter that. What about these guys? He has so many Maburas in. Just so many of them. Spearmen counter that. And then skirmishers and light cavalry. Alright, so we go archers, I guess. Bowmen. How old are we now? 46. While his numerous attempts to carry my favor have not gone unnoticed, I cannot feel but irritated by Muntasir's sudden interest in me. If anything, his obsessive desire to impress me and his blundering displays of fabricate, fabricated affection have only made me dislike him more. So he's back, even though I just charged him 50 gold. He still has a certain charm. We grow closer to forming a friendship. Yeah, I mean, I'll take the stress to form the friendship, I guess. I don't know what that's going to do for us, but it can't be a bad thing. After learning that Herman, Herman and Gildo, I'm just going to call him Herman, would be guesting at a manor in the castle town of Soria, I realized that it would be the perfect occasion to meet with him. By my request, I was seated next to him in the duration of dinner, and we both had a great time. I was surprised at how much we had to had to talk about. By the time I left, it felt as though we had known each other a lifetime already. What a pleasant man. So we became friends. So, can I invite him to court recruit to who I... So, I still have to recruit him. I know before, maybe this was a switch that just happened, but I know before, if you could befriend somebody, you could, like, bring them to your court or invite them to your court, but maybe because he's already in my court, I can't do that. I'm not real sure. I could grant him a title, and that would bring him in for sure. Um, so maybe if I can take Placentia or get some of these, I could give him that. I may have to attack Asturias. I mean, they've had it coming for a while. I would need all of my allies to be able to pull that off. But that would help me grow for sure. And give me the ability to... Um, where is that? Nahara. Right there. I'm tempted to do it. Uh, 
All right, let's let's go where we can attack first. So that would be this one. Lots of prestige, but it would be a big deal if we can come out a winner. How close are we to having our full strength up here? Let's wait a couple more months to get our full bowman strength. About four more months. We'll attack in January. Of course. To the perceptive Duke Philippe of Castile, I call on you to honor our alliance. So... Um, Duchy of Barcelona, all right. So we really liked your dad, and we hope you can get this, so let's try. We have a really good shot at this. We have a shot at getting this. Um... So these guys are enemies. So let's go over here. Oh, let's. So Navarra is an enemy. They're an enemy. They're going to attack them all. He already defeated them, I guess. County of Lombard. It's right there. So the Bar Duchy of Barcelona has a few battles going on right now. Let's see if I have... A, uh, I do have a siege guy. Okay. My marshal! He died! No! His dad died. Loyal subject and follower. Moving on to Count Gudmunder. Inherited all of it. Hopefully, hopefully that Andalusian still switches. Yeah, hopefully. Guess we'll see. All right, we will assign you, I guess. Well, I'm gonna go fight him. Hopefully this dude comes with me. Oh, I didn't switch my leader. I'm an idiot. We still might win. We still won! Oh. <laughs> Even with a terrible job by me on that. We still won. Nice. I lost my steward. My Marso Diego has been wounded and his flesh is contracted with foulness and swelling. If the right kind of treatment is administered and Jesus is merciful, he should make it. Which means probably not going to make it.
Counselor died. Next. Guess we're going with him. Go. Where are you going? There you go. Come help me. Get in there. There we go. Switch back to my siege guy. Lit only by a single candle, my finger pauses on an entry in the ledger. Something is not quite right. As soon I am searching through every record from the county of Burgos I can find. At last, it is clear as day. It seems as if an entire village has gone missing from the taxation records. I really do want to... Because I'm diligent. It seems like if I was diligent, I would want to know what happened to it. But, hey, that's just me. As I arrive at the village, accompanied by my guards, I discover at last why the locals stop paying their taxes. Every house stands de derelict and abandoned. There is no trace of any people at all. Not even my collector. As a slowly rising sense of dread overtakes me as my guards rummage through the silent houses, quickly turning to panic when one of them suddenly shouts, What did you find? What awaits me in the abandoned house is a foul stench and a pile of corpses. Decay makes it impossible to tell how they died, but even the last, the least rotting corpses are without any obvious marks of killing. Burn this hell pit to the ground. Bury the bodies. I think we're in, oop. Yeah, we're gonna burn it to the ground. Some of my counselors believe the job is theirs by right or by blood of influence. Okay, who are we going to help? The bishop would like me more, and he's very close. She's too old to have another child, probably, so... Time to return home. So close to getting this one. The Bob died. Um, so we'll go there. Okay, so close. All right, we did it. Disband. Okay. So we got the Duchy of Barcelona, and but wait. Okay, so we got the Duchy. Did Charles die? Ah, he died. Okay. Where is my daughter's... Where is he at? He's still the, got the County of Lamarck. Shouldn't he have, he have gotten more? He got West Francia, but he didn't get... Hmm. Well, that's not fun. stop the villain behind it. So I want to see who's the claimants here then. Goodness, he's way down the list. How did I do such a poor job planning that? Maybe on this one? Aquitaine? No? What, what does this guy have claims to? County of Barry. County of Block. 
Hmm, he didn't get any claim. That is weird. Because his brother got all the claims. Confederate partition, so it's not... Am I not paying attention to... Yeah, Confederate partition, so... All children inherit equally, but he didn't get an equal share. That is... Unless the uncle was still alive. And he is... Ah! Oh, that's the mistake that I made. I had to kill off Carloman. That's the guy I should have targeted, and then he would have he would have inherited Aquitaine because he would have gotten the equal share. So I messed that up. Well, that stinks. All right. My prisoner has escaped from my dungeon. So before we lose anybody else, let's go through the prison. Yeah, forty-eight of fifty is good with me. Alright, so I was going to get money, and now I'm not. Take 50. Can hire a court physician. Let's do that. My bishop at 65, but he is by far the best. So, we'll point him. Can ransom for 10. We'll do that. Let's get some more men at arms. Go up one, up one. Toledo, let's add in some manor. Oh, I can't do it right now. Can do farms and fields, not quite yet. We'll get our levies back up like they need to be. And then we'll try to attack again. Ugh, they have so many allies, it's frustrating. They're hurting. Asturias is hurting. So we need to get this up as soon as we can. By it. Masters come to me with great news. Someone's plotting to kill somebody I don't care about. All right. Well, I want to get to this battle against Asturias. Asturias. In the scorching midday heat, they sit in the shadow under a great stone pine, playing on lutes and flutes. Lutes and flutes. I wonder if that rhyming was intentional. They sing in many tongues, yet my heart can understand every word. I can hear them from the balcony, and they stir my soul. Yet I do not know the identity of these musicians, and when I leave my lofty halls and approach the tree, they are gone. Are they sent from heaven? Are they phantoms devised by Satan to ensnare me? Perhaps not. But what am I to do with these damned feelings? So beautiful, so odd by beauty, stress gained is less. I should sponsor more musicians. I will have the tree chopped down. I'm going to do so beautiful. Take on less stress. Missing one gold. So one more month and we'll get the gold. We'll construct that. That'll help us in the long run for sure. Ooh, okay, so did we switch over? So Catalan, did they switch? He didn't switch. Did they all switch, though? Okay, so that, that did not work. So whoever suggested that, let's learn this lesson, that we did switch Olamedo, but it did not switch him. So, and I, I would have to switch his culture, which I can't do. I can get his child, but I can't get his. So, we are going to switch now this culture. It's 
going to take 10 years. That is a long time. Is that guest still here? All right. He's not here. Now let's see if we can invite my friend to our court. Invite to court. He, now he'll come. So because he was already a guest, I could only... I couldn't invite him. Now that he's here, or not, when he left... So actually, you, if this happens... You can befriend somebody that is would be really good for your court, dismiss them from the court as long as you don't take a major like opinion penalty, and then just invite them to court and it won't cost any money. And I just got an, a counselor at 18 for that. So if you can see a guest, so let's do this. Let's find a character. Is it this? Find a character. Let's do prowess. He's my knight, knight, knight. Um, let's just do all. Uh, and let's do religion, Ozabarism. Let's just look for that. So he's wandering. So if I can befriend him, he's 55. Let's find somebody younger. 53. Let's go, um, yeah, that's not going to matter. How old is he? He's 32. He's got 16 prowess. Eh, he's 32 and he's got, he's a four marshal. So let's befriend him. And then we can invite him to our court. And that's how we can just keep adding better knights is because we'll just keep doing that. He's already... He'd be like in my top five for sure on prowess. All right, good. Lesson learned. That's good to know. Now, let's attack Asturias. Why do I only get one for the struggle clash? Feels like it should be more than that. Interpreting my recent friendliness as a sign, Gomez has come to me with concern for one of my prisoners. It would please me greatly if you would release my acquaintance, Bernat. Alright, I'll do it. I need to lose stress. Eat my cheese. I lose 17 stress for eating my cheese. All right. Worth it. <clears throat> I don't know why the struggle clash has only given me that. It's only... Oh, I know why. We moved to the conciliation phase of the Iberian struggle. I should have attacked before. I would have gotten more. All right. So what do we want to go after then? What has the best development here? Six, five, seven, eight, seven. What fits in? That's Navarro. Oh, so this one's Castile up here. That one's already in our duchy. So maybe we can go for that one. Go 7 development for Amaya. Oop, that's not what I want. I want that. Struggle Clash. Amaya. Here we go. Get your buns in here. I need everybody. To my surprise, Count Gudmunder has corresponded with my counselors to arrange for a day by myself to take off some of the pressure I've been under. In the end, I've spent it following a suggestion of Gudmunder himself, riding among the fields, fighting, finding entertainment in the outrageous filth and clumness of peasants. 
All right, lose 10 stress. And we have somebody that doesn't like it. Burgos, okay. That's weird that, I mean, the control is 84, so it is kind of weird. There's an ally. There's an ally. I am the best that I've got. All right, advantage and crush them. I never expected I would grow as close to Count Gunmunder as I have done in the past few years. On multiple occasions, he has proven himself to be a reliable and forthright man with only my best interests at heart. So rare to find a true friend. He's much younger than me. Yeah, I definitely want him to be my friend. He's getting gold. She can wait until he can pay. Where's my other ally at? I thought I saw him running around here. Is he at, at war with somebody? No. I don't know where he went. Oh, there he is. After learning that Gomez, I decided. After learning that Gomez, I decided that it would be the perfect occasion to pass by to ensure I got some face-to-face -face time with him. The ball was exquisite, and Gomez put on a fine show. Afterward, I told him how impressed I was, and we got to talking. By the time I left, I felt as we had known each other for friends. Okay, so we have become friends, and invite him to court. And we now have a better night. Are they they're hostile? <laughs> and they lost. I don't even know why they rebelled. They literally lost right away. I didn't even have to do anything. are expensive and with my treasury rapidly emptying I need to think about those I will pay to keep my soldiers on the field of battle gain 100 stewardship lifestyle is that a it's a martial challenge so let's get that there we go undersupplied of course Alright, and we can enforce demands because we only need 90%. Alright. Well, that helps. Of course, I've got him. He's not even our right. I can't imprison him. That's an act of tyranny. 
and conversion. He's not going to accept. All right. Um, I think his wife is in prison with me. So can I negotiate release, demand conversion? Or pay 25. You can pay 25. 30. 50. 50. All right, Toledo. Let's build the manor houses. We're almost there. So we are almost converting <laughs> Toledo into our capital. We're so close. I want to do it. Um, oh, Andalus split up too. So we might have a chance here because we'll be going after him. So we might have to look at this possibility next time because we can go after some of our claims for the uh, Duchy of Toledo. So right there. So we'll try to get those next time. I thought we'd get a shot at it this time. They've broken up as far as the kingdom goes. So maybe as it just dismantles, uh, we can step in and take some things. And we're working our way from the inside of Iberia out, uh, even though we're a very coastal culture. So I do want to get to the coast. It's just taking us more time than I thought. Thank you so much for joining me, jumping in, liking it, subscribing. I appreciate it all, and I'll see you next time.